ordered Google to hand over the names, addresses, telephone numbers, and user activity of those who watch certain YouTube videos. The feds were trying to track down a criminal and were apparently tracking you in the process. Now, I want to make sure you heard that correctly. If you watch a particular YouTube video or a particular YouTube live stream, the feds may have collected all of your pertinent data from YouTube. Let's talk about it. So as you heard, feds ordered Google to unmask certain YouTube users, but critics say it's terrifying. So how did this all start? Well, first we have to talk about this account, Elon Musk WHM. Now in a case unsealed from Kentucky, Forbes says that undercover cops sought to identify the individual behind the account, Elon Musk WHM who they had suspected of buying Bitcoin for cash, potentially running afoul of money laundering laws. Now, that name Elon Musk WHM is all over the crypto world. Here he is on local coin swap, where he has a little profile here. You also find a similar account on Reddit, again, talking about cryptocurrency. Okay, before we move forward, let's just stop real quick and talk about what money laundering is. It's an illegal process of making large amounts of money generated by criminal activities such as drug trafficking or terrorist funding appear to have come from a legitimate source. Now, people in the drug world are starting to use cryptocurrency to launder funds. Now, let's say you're a successful drug dealer and have a million dollars in cash. It's not like you can just put all this under the pillow and you can't just take this to a bank. Now, that's because the bank's got to report that money to the feds and then the feds are going to come asking, how come you deposited $1 million in cash in a bank account? And your response can't be drug dealing. Now, as time goes by, $1 million becomes $2 million, and $2 million becomes $4 million. And now you don't have any place to put your money. So now with all that, this is what the feds think is going on. It thinks this account, Elon Musk, WHM, is taking that dirty money and trying to convert it to Bitcoin. Now, Elon Musk, WHM can't just create a Coinbase account because they're going to ask for ID. So that would defeat the purpose of him trying to launder dirty money. So Coinbase is a no go. But if he takes that dirty cash and just pays people directly for Bitcoin, that will work. So here are some posts on Reddit from the account Elon Musk, WHM, where he says, I buy your crypto for cash, 100% positive feedback, for over 450 sales, avoid paying taxes and leave Bitcoin trails in the past. Here's another one where he says pretty clearly, I don't trade digitally, only cash by mail. Okay, so it looks like the feds think that Elon Musk WHM is money laundering and they now want to know who the hell this guy is. So what did they decide to do? They said, well, we're gonna send him YouTube videos and links to live streams to see if he watches that content. Then the feds hoping that this account watched that content goes to Google and says, hey, I want you to give us all the information about everyone who watch these videos or live streams. And we want the names, addresses, telephone number, and user activity of all those accounts. Because don't forget, they're only looking for one account but they don't know who this person is. This person is an anonymous YouTube account, but they believe and they strongly believe that he is one of the thousands and thousands of people who've watched either one of these videos or live streams. So if they take everybody's name and everybody's address and everybody's user activity, they believe that they will have gotten Elon Musk WHM's information. According to Forbes, the investigation into Elon Musk WHM is focused on that individual selling Bitcoin for cash, which is a violation of money laundering laws. The sale also constitutes an unlicensed money transferring business. As part of the investigation, undercover agents reportedly sent links of YouTube tutorials that covered mapping via drones and all augmented reality software to Elon Musk WHM and then asked Google to provide details on who had viewed the videos. The videos received more than 30,000 views. Now, it's also interesting to note that a court is the one that granted the government's request and the government also asked Google not to publicize the request. Now, another shocking part about this whole story is that I only saw one major news outlet covering this and that's Fox News. Here's what they had to say about Big Brother. Kevin, good evening. Evening, Trace. According to Forbes, the government asking Google to give up names, addresses, phone numbers 
and user activity of all account users who access certain YouTube videos back in January of 2023, as you mentioned, as part of a larger criminal investigation. Now, in another instance, police also asked Google to provide a list of accounts that viewed and or interacted with YouTube live streams that could lead to information again on what they claim was a police search. Privacy experts tell Fox Business tonight this discovery is absolutely terrifying, saying it allows the police to target people for simply consuming content. Quote, it's unconstitutional, it's terrifying, and it's happening every day. These YouTube warrants are just as chilling, allowing police to target people simply for the content they consume. No one should fear and knock at the door from police simply because of what YouTube's algorithm serves up. Okay, so there are obviously major problems with this. Number one, the government's looking for one guy. So they now have a license to take hundreds of thousands of people's information, all in the hopes that one of those accounts may be linked to this guy who they don't really even know watch the videos or not. Remember, they just sent him a link. They don't know if he watched the videos. And then second, what about the YouTube algorithm? Those 30,000 people probably found that video through the YouTube algorithm saying, hey, this may be a video you'll enjoy. But now, because those people clicked on a video that YouTube recommended to them, the government now has their name, Google <laughs> information, user activity, and all this other stuff. Is that fear to those 30,000 other people who had nothing to do with any criminal activity? Now, Google responded to this. We have a rigorous process designed to protect the privacy and constitutional rights of our users. It goes on. We examine each demand for legal validity consistent with developing case law, and we routinely push back against overbroad or otherwise inappropriate demands for user data, including objecting to some demands entirely. Now, this is not the first time something like this has happened. Let me take you to this case in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Well, Grace, Troy, this is a popular spot in downtown Portsmouth, and last night, police had to evacuate several surrounding businesses after getting that call that they've now determined was a hoax. All of this happening around 10 o'clock after police had already responded to another incident up the road on Woodbury Ave. That ended up being a large car meetup with thousands of car enthusiasts that police had been in contact with. But right as that ended, they got an unrelated call from someone saying a person put an explosive device in a trash can near the North Church and threatened to use a firearm in Market Square. Police, an explosive detection canine, and state police bomb squad units evacuated the area and within a few hours determined there was, in fact, no explosive device. Police say now they're working to figure out who was responsible for this and say that person could face a number of charges. Now, in this case, after police received the threat, the police found out that they were being watched over a YouTube live stream and cameras associated with local businesses. Federal investigators believe similar events had happened across the U.S. where bomb threats were being made and cops watched via YouTube. So the feds asked Google to provide a list of accounts that viewed and or interacted with eight YouTube live streams and associated identifying information during specific time frames. That included a video posted by Boston and Maine Live, which has 130,000 subscribers. Mike McCormick, who set up the company behind the account IP Time Lapse, said he knew about the order, adding that they related to squatting incidents directed at camera views at that time. Now, you may think if you stop watching YouTube videos and start watching them on some other platform, you'd be safe, but no. This happens with every platform. The FBI sends these warrants that have to be complied with because they're signed by judges to these platforms for information, and these platforms have to comply with lawful orders. So how do you feel about this? Do you feel that the government should have this ability to find out thousands of people's username and user activity because the government is seeking one individual who may or may not be doing bad things? We've seen it happen in the bomb threat cases and we see it happening in money laundering cases. Let me know if you believe this is too much power for the government to have or there may be a better way. Like always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do like great YouTube stuff. My name is Nate Lawyer, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.